Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of dynamic form series. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can add sections and uh, fields inside those sections that you would be adding on your dynamic forms. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'll just move to my org <clears throat> and let me navigate to account record page. So this is my account record page and I have already upgraded it to dynamic form. Let me just refresh it. All right, so I'm going to remove whatever we have and I'm going to add new sections, all right? So I'm going to remove this. And here you have to click on fields and here you'll see field section. So I'm going to add a field section, okay? And here you can like, you know, either decide uh, how you want the setup to be right. You know, either you can keep it as two columns or you can keep it as one column. So for example, one column and here you can add fields. So these are the fields that we have. Let's say I'll add account number account owner, uh, active, and then um, annual revenue, okay? And then you can also add another section if you want. So here it is, and I'm going to keep it as two columns. And here, like, you know, you can also, hold on, okay. Section, you can change the name, uh, account, basic info or something like that. Okay, so see the label name change, right? And here, and it also, if you see, it also shows in the form of accordion, right? See, you're able to open and close it. So here, let's just add a few more fields. Um, building address and description here. Okay, so this is how you can add multiple sections, okay? And you can arrange the fields the way you want. You can either choose it to be like, you know, one column or two column display. Okay, now let's see how you can actually put a section filter, okay? So let's say this is my section and here I want to add a filter on the component visibility here. So this is actually also available on the detail page, but that is for the whole detail section and not just for like, you know, one particular section from the whole detail page. But for example, let's say this one, if, you, if I want to display this section, uh, if the account is uh, active, right? Otherwise I don't want to, or let's say, yeah. So here, uh, active here, let me, active equals to yes. So active is a custom pick list that I have and it has a value of yes and no. So I want to display this particular section, the whole section, only if the account active is equals to yes. Okay, so click on done. See, you can see this I icon here. That means like you know, it, it, this this whole section has a filter on it. Okay, and let me save this. And let me go ahead and open an account. So you should be now seeing only these two sections that I've created here, but this one should only be visible if the account active is equals to yes, okay? So for example, he see here. So this, for this particular account, that active checkbox is, sorry, that active pick list is not set as yes. That is why we are seeing only the second section. But let me, let me just go ahead and, uh, this is the account, right? I'm going and making this account active as yes, okay? Or we can actually create our new account and keep the active as yes so new <clears throat> all right because it also follows the edit one right so i will go to the console and query the account <clears throat> from account where id is equals to this is the account that I have and I'm going to mark the active as yes and let's just save this hold on let me just see what's okay 
All right. So I have made this account uh, active is equals to yes. Now, if I go to the UI and if I refresh the page, I should be able to see that account. Okay. So I'll open it again and I'll refresh. Yeah. See the active is yes. That is why it is visible. The moment I make it no, correct. It will not be visible anymore. No. And then save. See that section is gone, right? And here, if I, again, let me just, I mean, if I refresh this, it will show as no, but let me just make it as yes. Okay. Then, and also like, you know, once you have, um, I mean, even if you try to edit the record, you will have the same kind of conditions like, you know, applicable. Okay. So here, if I try to edit the record, I mean, for this one, it's not really like, you know, applicable, uh, applicable as in the scenario that we have taken is not actually applicable because I can just simply like, you know, choose no and save. And if I save this, actually we can check if I save this, you on the detail page, you are seeing that you're not, uh, the first section section is not visible where we have the, we have kept the filter. And also it's not that if I click on edit, the first section will, will be visible. No, it will actually follow whatever, like, you know, the rules you have applied on the section. So if I click on here and if I click on edit, see, you're only seeing the second section and not the first one. Okay. So this is how you can add section. You can adjust your fields and you can apply filters to the section. In the next video, we'll see how we can apply different filters on the field, field level. Okay. For example, these fields, right? How we can apply different kind of filters on these fields. All right. So till then, um, uh, stay tuned and keep practicing. Bye-bye.